what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, is now one full year into his presidency, and America is now officially recognized internationally as a shithole. The unhinged tweeting, the contempt for democratic norms, the collusion with Russia has all made America the laughing stock of the universe. But there is one respect in which Trump's tenure in office has been rather ordinary. His administration's year-long effort to push familiar Republican initiatives that shift money and power toward corporations and the rich and away from everybody else. Nope. This is not the kind of presidency that Trump promised as a candidate. Remember, this fool portrayed himself as a different sort of Republican, one who would attack the financial industry, govern independently of wealthy special interests, and protect public programs on which poor and middle class Americans depend. By far the clearest example of this is the tax cut in the Jobs Act, which the Republican Congress passed and Trump signed in December. The legislation showers the vast majority of its benefits on businesses, investors, and the wealthy by permanently reducing taxes for corporations, the owners of pass-through businesses, and the holders of large estates. And although it also lowers some taxes for lower and middle-income households, those cuts are smaller and temporary. Y'all remember back before Trump got in office, we only had a 4% unemployment rate. For two years straight, the stock market was on the rise. And then came Trump with all of his promises. I'm the deal maker. I can get it done. I get it done. I make things happen. And the trumpeteers bought it, hook, line, and sinker. Boy, it didn't take much to convince him, even though he had a long history of bankrupting companies. They only looked at the successes. Basically, they saw what they wanted to see. The main thing that they saw out of Trump was that Trump was going to maintain white supremacy. That was the main thing. Ain't no way around. You can say what you want to say. And I know you had five black people that voted for Trump. But those people are also white supremacists. You ain't got to be white to be a white supremacist. All you got to do is buy into the agenda. Whether it be passively or aggressively, you can be a white supremacist. So that's what it was. They got Trump because Trump told them, I'm going to take it back to the good old days, baby. We're going back to the good old days when you could be lazy and shiftless and just win on your own. Just uh, Instead of winning on your own merit, you win on your skin color. You ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to work for nothing. You ain't got to invent nothing. You can just wait till somebody else invent it and steal it. You ain't got to work. You can just make a human, another human being a slave and make them work. And then you take all the credit. And then you say it's your country and you built it. But you ain't lift a hand, you ain't, you ain't lift a finger to build nothing. But you want to take all the credit. That's how it go. So that's how Trump do. Trump does nothing, like nothing. He is nothing he's ever done productive. Not even bringing his kids into the world. He had nothing he's ever done that has been productive. Why does Trump hate the military so much? Why does he hate the poor so much? I get it, I get it. He grew up rich, and a lot of times rich people are snobs. You know, they grow up and they get all high and they look down on people who have less. Okay, I get it. He was indoctrinated. And as far as the military, he hates the military. That's why you don't like John McCain. He really have a disdain for, for John McCain because John McCain was a war hero and he got the wounds to prove it. And Trump was a coward. He dodged the draft. Not once, not twice, not three, <laughs> five times. 
this dude dodged the draft. So this is why he hates people in the military. Now, anytime he starts standing up, doing all that saluting and stuff, that's faking, man. Action speaks louder than words. Take a look at his budget and see how much he has allocated for the military. I'm talking about military veterans. I ain't talking about to go to war. Oh, they gonna put, they'll pump money into the war all day long. War, uh, missile, ballistics, nukes, drones uh, all day long. Bullets, hey, they got that covered. Submarines, attack weapons, all that, they got that covered. All. They gonna spend money on that all day long because they get money when they spend money out. You dig what I'm saying? But as far as the people who served, the veterans, the veterans, they do nothing for the veterans. Man, you know how many veterans out there that are homeless? They make getting the benefits so hard that oftentimes veterans just give up. They just get frustrated. Can you imagine actually, actually serving in the military like and, and seeing battle, like going into action, maybe even being wounded, getting a debilitating injury? You know, having your mind forever altered, even if you don't get in, injured physically, mentally, having your mind forever altered and just things going on in your head that you, you know, these nightmares you can't control and you try to go get help and they tell you, oh yeah, yeah get in that line. We, we understand that the line is 500,000 miles long, but get at the end of the line and eventually we'll call your number. You got veterans that have been waiting on their benefits for some 20 years or more. They treat the military veterans like trash. It's all fake. When they talking about stand up and salute for the flag and they wave the flag on the 4th of July and veterans day and all, man, it's fake. They say one, one thing and they do something totally different. Action speaks louder than words. All that old, I salute the veterans and, yo, we got to respect the veterans and the flag. And, man, they don't give a shit about none of that. What they care about is the symbolism of that, what it's supposed to represent in terms of the power of it. Not even the so-called freedom and all of that. You know, that sounds good, but they're more interested, interested in the power structure. The idea that this is the military, damn the, the veterans and all the things they're going through. We just need to keep on building bombs and making sure we're the most biggest and the baddest army. And every now and then we go knock off another country and kill a bunch of people and forever change their lives. And if that happens, then so be it. We kill a few women and children in the process. Well, not a few, but a few thousand. Hey, man. Hey, man, hey, it's whatever, man, casualties of war, collateral damage, call it whatever you want to call it. But, man, you know, just keep it strong, baby. I'm all for the military. That's how they do. But it's all game. It's all fake. Trump is sad. He's delusional. The Trumpeteers are very delusional, and they're in denial. They really do look at dude like I can't even imagine a person with common sense. I'm not even talking about a person that that has like some great intellect. I'm just saying like common sense. I can't see a person with common sense who would study Donald Trump for more than 60 seconds and don't realize that he's one that flew over the cuckoo nest. Like not realize that this dude is really dumb. He has a very limited vocabulary. He is uncouth. The dude he probably eat with his fingers. I bet, I bet, I bet you, I bet you anything he eat gumbo with his fingers. Probably eat gumbo, soup, stuff like that. I bet you anything. Probably don't even. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna get into all of that. But anyway, man, this dude is a disgrace. Trump's base will stick with him no matter what. They're gonna stick with him. It's like, but some of them. Supported. Here's the thing. He got two different bases. He got that one base with a straight up racist base, just straight racist, hate everybody but white people. And then he got that base who uh, was trying to come up on the on the money side of things. 
And many of them, they quietly support him. And they, those people have quietly abandoned, abandoned him. You did? And those numbers are continuing to fall. That's why it's part of the reason why his, his rating is at an all-time low. He, he has the absolute worst rating of any president in the history. He has the absolute worst approval rating of any president in the history of the United States, period. He's running away with it. So all you people out there that voted for him thinking that you was going to get more money, how is that working out for you? In terms of jobs, how is that working out for you? Let me tell you some cold-blooded fact. There will be no jobs because Donald Trump lied to you. And like a sucker, you fell for it. I'll leave you with a Mark Twain quote. It's easier to fool people than to convince them that they've been fooled. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.